Something new that I'll be showing you today are eyelets, which are basically like grommets for those of you who do any kind of sewing. You do need special tools to set these. I prefer to use eyelet setting tools, which is a hole punch and a setter tool. The eyelet setter is pretty sharp and it'll actually put holes through your tabletop. So you wanna put something underneath to protect your surface. Then you wanna position the hole punch where you want your eyelet to be. And then what you do with a hammer is you give it a couple of whacks and that makes the hole in the page. Take your eyelet and slip it through. And on the back side, you're gonna have the little end of the eyelet sticking out. Now you need to take the tip of your eyelet setting tool and insert it in that little end that's sticking out and hit the hammer again. That's what it looks like when it's finished. So we're gonna put one of these on each end of our piece of cardstock. You can use them to secure your paper in place. A lot of people also use them on pages to lace ribbon through. So now that we've got our title block done, what we're gonna do is we're going to glue our pictures down onto the page. Now we're gonna be using this pre-cut title, and in order to make it just a little bit more interesting, I thought that we'd put some 3D adhesive underneath, what we call pop dots, which are basically little foam squares that have a little bit of thickness to them. So you can make any photo or title raise up a little bit from the page, and then center it on your page like that. So I think for the last step, what we'll do is we're gonna add a couple of pieces of this color cardstock down here so that we can write in the names of the people in the photos. So for that, I think we're gonna use pieces that are an inch by four and a half inches. The full width of the black cardstock. We will glue those down onto our page. Our last step is going to be inserting the brads onto the page. The brads are basically somewhat like eyelets in the sense that they pierce through the page. We're gonna be using a paper piercer, which is just basically like a thumbtack. And all it does is that it makes a hole for you in your paper. So you just want to stab that right through there. And that makes a hole for you to insert your brad easily. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna turn it over, open it up to secure it into place. So we are gonna put one on each end of each of our text blocks here. So now we've completed our page. The only thing left to do would be to add some text into our text boxes below. So now you've seen some more tools and embellishments that you can use on your pages, as well as working with a few more papers and accessories. So you can imagine all of the possibilities that are available to you in the world of scrapbooking.